Tigger was my favourite Winnie the Pooh character when I was growing up. Nowadays, I kind of feel like I'm more Team Piglet, but I was still pretty pleased to see that Tigger is the star of the show with Butterfly Chase, which is, I think, the fourth Tsum Tsum short from the first season. And this one has a very kind of spring feeling to it. It's outdoors. Um, you have the Disney castle in the background, so I assume it's set in the grounds of the Disney park, if you like. And you have kind of the luscious green, apple green grass and the beautiful flowers that Tigger seems to be squishing when he is in his giant form. And there are a whole host of balloons. Of course, it sounds, uh, it starts off with Tigger being distracted by this butterfly. And... He wants to obviously try and chase this butterfly. Tigger has a really great energy. Up until this point, I haven't really identified any of the shorts that really work well with the characters' personalities. Maybe Honey Popcorn, where Winnie the Pooh was in there around the popcorn. Maybe he was trying to eat it, but unless the popcorn tasted of honey, I don't know. But this one, with Tigger bouncing off to try and get this butterfly, I feel like it actually really suits the personality of the Tsum Tsum they've chosen to use. And of course this butterfly flies higher than Tigger can get to, so he tries to catch the butterfly by grabbing onto some balloons. And needless to say, these balloons are going to cause Tigger to lift up off of the ground and it could potentially cause some problems for him. And various other Tsum Tsums try and get, get involved and um, trying to get Tigger back down. It's sweet. I really like it. As a fan of Tigger, I found this one to be particularly delightful. The concept of bounding after a butterfly, I can definitely see Tigger doing that. The balloons, the animation style is really nice. I like the choice of Tsum Tsum they used for this. There's a good mix of classic characters and Winnie the Pooh characters. The only concern is that I'm slightly worried some children will attach their Tsum Tsum to helium balloons. One of my favourite things about this series is that it encourages creativity for young children who have their own Tsum Tsum, whether it's the plush ones or the tiny plastic ones, to create their own short films with their Tsum Tsums. I think it's a really brilliant way to encourage that kind of creativity. But I am slightly concerned that some young children will try and recreate this. Let's say they've been given a helium balloon or they've been out to a fair and they've got a helium balloon and then they come home and attach their Tsum Tsum to it. Tsum Tsums aren't that heavy. It's very likely that they will let go of that helium balloon and it will be bye-bye Tsum Tsum. So that's a bit of a warning sign. But other than that, I found it utterly delightful. The beautiful bright blue sky, the green grass, the gorgeous spring vibes. Definitely what I was in the mood for when I watched this. It, it's absolutely adorable.